Y'all, Zell Swag. I love, love, love Zell Swag more than Bobby Lights. You feel me? Like, this nigga is so fucking interesting to me, okay? Is he gay or not? I don't know. And I was thinking that. I was thinking that then um, when I used to watch it then. And he, even Shakana said, she said, you know what? You're going to be my um, boyfriend on the trip. And he was like, what? Yeah, see, that's just the thing. I want to be somebody's boyfriend. And she was like, what? Well, you gay or as all outdoors. And Zell Swag told her, you know what? I'm just really not all that gay, you know? I feel like vagina i'm like oh shit so that means you're bisexual you know what i'm saying that's just it put a label on it it's fine it's 2020 basically too you feel me so you bisexual is cool okay y'all so now peter okay is walking along the beach walking along the beach and i'm just like you know and i wonder if some men are mad that as soon as a motherfucker see them People just like, because you are a dirty, dirty dog, y'all. I don't even know if y'all know this history, but I'm about to give it to y'all real quick, like within like 20 seconds. He was dating Tyra and Amina, okay, two different women. And yeah, he was dating them at the same time, got them pregnant at the same time. Like they was hating each other, like these bitches hated each other. Even Tyra was like, you know what? Even, she said it just now on the show. She was like, you know what? Every time I saw Amina, I wanted to go at her neck, you know? Like they hated each other. They wanted to, like, really hurt each other one time. They was always being um, confrontational with each other. Like, it was a lot. And, you know, we all hated Peter, you know. And Shekana still hate Peter. Like, she was about to go on that ass on the show. Because, Peter, you did a lot, you know. And it's hard not to judge. But when you do a lot like this man did, y'all, he is too much. And so I call him. He's he's part of the Creep Squad, Okay. That's when him and Rich and Cisco call each other, okay? So basically, um, he's dog number one. We're gonna call him dog number one because he is the dog of all dogs, you know? They've done some shady shit. Rich is a fucking whore, okay? We're gonna talk about that. But at the end of the day, Peter really went in on these girls' lives and their hearts, and it was very touching to see. Um, and, yeah, and then he just, you know, it, it just, it was that, this is what reality TV was back then. Like, see, reality TV was all of that back then. Like, you got the whole little, um, gist of when you was in love with somebody, and they treated you so bad, but you just kept taking it and stuff. Like, you, you really hated the other girl because she had him, and you wanted him so bad, and you couldn't understand why he didn't want you. Which is like it was so much, you know, back then. Y'all, Peter just kept going back and forth between Amina and Tyra, and it was something to watch. You feel me? Like, if you want to go back and watch it, they probably got it on YouTube, you know that. But it was very treacherous. Like it was, it was a lot. You know, the love triangle between these three was real. Okay, it was really real, and you cannot even say that that shit was made up or it was fake. You know, you can't disrespect between the two women um, in the middle of it. The fact that Peter thought he could just, like, get away with this type of shit. And he did, like he was. And the fact that you might have thought that one of them got strong and really stood up for herself and was done with him. Next thing you know, she's back with him. You, It was just, like, a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm excited to see the whole dynamic of that situation. And then on top of that, child, that was back in 2013. So, I'm sure things changed because that was eight years ago. But... I'm curious to watch. Hey, everybody. It's your girl, Sassy Sean T. I'm coming back with another video. Yes, honey. Back with another one, girl. Y'all, did y'all get into this episode of Love and Hip Hop, the family reunion? Y'all, I am psyched, okay? Because this is the first reunion that I'm going to be reviewing. I did not review the last one. And this one caught my eye like quick because I love Brooke, okay? I think her name is Brooke Valentine. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, her and... Um, Marcus, I saw them on Love and Hip Hop. I don't know which one, but um, yeah, they were on Love and Hip Hop one season years ago, y'all. And she was in love with Marcus, and you know she was, you know, kind of dating Booby at the time, girl. You know, so yeah, that little triangle. And then who else? Um, oh, I, oh, and I saw Bobby Lights. You know, that's my boy. Okay, y'all, I love me some Bobby Lights. I follow Bobby Lights. I love Bobby Lights. I saw Bobby Lights. Um, I also saw Zell Swag, y'all. Y'all gotta. Okay, my Invisalign again. I always feel funny because I'm talking with my Invisalign in. So, yeah, that's why I keep um, kind of sounding funny. But, yeah, I love Zell Swag. I love, love, love Zell. He's such a shit star, y'all. Okay, um, but let's just get into the episode. Okay, so they're in San Diego, California, y'all, okay? 
and Mimi, Brooke, and Jonathan are hosting it together, you know? So yeah, everybody from different shows of Love & Hip Hop, Atlanta, um, Hollywood, Miami, and New York. So yeah, all of these people out there, well, some of these people out there, and yeah, I'm feeling it because Erica is a shit starter. She got a lot going on. She always has had a lot going on. You know, I really used to like Erica, but then she, she just, I don't know, to me, she was always a groupie, and then she kind of like started dating Safari, so I was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? But she, she's a shit starter. She did too much with Rich. We're going to talk about it, girl, okay? Anyway, y'all, moving on. So Mimi, y'all, is in her confessional, and she's just saying that, you know, she's going to have a white party on the beach for everybody uh, to just wipe the slate clean. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be a chance for everybody to just, you know, have a moment where they can just relax and forget about everything that went on. Okay, girl. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I thought that was kind of, you know, they, they dress stuff up on these shows to make it look like they're not really trying to have no, you know, shit going on, but it's all for the shit, you know what I'm saying? And that's why we come, y'all. So, y'all, Jonathan says he invited his first wife, Sin, okay? So, yes, I am loving Sin. Sin is beautiful, you know? Um, beautiful girl. She is, I think, like, Spanish, um, some type of, I don't know what she is, but she's gorgeous, okay? And I was mad the way Erica did her, girl, you wrong, okay? And I hope she reads your ass for filth on this joint. Girl! Yeah, because everybody's here for Erica. All Erica's exes are here, like everybody. Jonathan tells um, Mimi, yeah, and I've invited Stevie, you know, for you. Okay, and I'm like, oh, shit. Y'all know her and Stevie are, like, epic. Her, Stevie, and Jocelyn are epic. Um, Can't wait to see. I ripped, girl. Can, can y'all imagine if they would have got Jocelyn on this bitch? Okay, honey, that would have been awesome. <laughs> like, wow. Her and her husband, they kind of... Girl, did y'all see them on, um, they got some type of stripper show. I was watching me and my husband before, and then we stopped. I'm so mad. I was telling him, I'm so mad. He was, too. Anyway, y'all, Jonathan was like, yeah, um, I invited Stevie, you know, for you, okay? And then Mimi just walked out. She like, uh-uh. She walked all towards the beach, y'all. She be like, hold on, hold on, hold on. And Jonathan is like, look, I thought y'all, you know, could talk about, you know, y'all co-parent and stuff. I'm like, okay, like, that's, this is not the place for that. But if you want to, you know, give a reason why he's going to be on the show, girl, then do your thing because that's what you did so um she was like yeah i just want him to keep his word you know and if he tells her um our daughter he's gonna come then he should be able to just come and show up and not disappoint her like that i'm like right okay so stevie i know like you still doing this bullshit but he married faith y'all you would think that he would like grow up a little bit i hope he's not doing the same thing but obviously he is because this is the shit that mimi saying he's doing so sin and marcus are walking up okay they don't show nothing about marcus in the show i was like dang what happened like they act like he like a friend of the show you know i guess he is brooke's husband you know and we're gonna get into that because i did not know he was cheating on when she was pregnant did y'all see that y'all she was talking about that on the next oh sometime Sometime in the season, they're going to be showing, you know, that situation. But I was like, God damn. Like, she was in love with my... I know, y'all, she was really heartbroken with that. Like, I can't even imagine. So, anyway, y'all. Okay, Sin is walking along the beach, girl. Okay? And she is looking like a whole fucking snack. Okay? This girl is bad. You know? And she did not look... You know, like this, back on Love and Hip Hop Miami, this good, I think. I don't know what she got done, but she looks good. I'm talking about her face. You know, her body has all, always been bad, but it's something going on with her face. But anyway, um, because I look at everything, I told y'all that. And that's fine, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you got to do, you know, your girl getting her stomach down. So, you know, whatever y'all got to do to get yourself together, do that shit if you got the money. You know what I'm saying? After you handle everything else that you need to handle. So, basically, she's just saying how, you know, her life right now is just wrapped up around her son, you know, and her music. And she is excited to be there, honey, girl. And I am too, girl. You go ahead, Sam, girl. <laughs> Peter basically saying he's glad to be there, you know, amongst family. And, you know, he's excited. So, let's see. Rich dollars, okay, y'all? Dog number two of the Creek Squad, okay? Now, Rich has had um, relationships basically with all his co-stars. You know what I'm saying? Like, all of the people that have been on, even the dogs. The dogs have been on um, Love & Hip Hop. He fucked the dogs, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, he has been... <laughs> no, let me not say that, y'all. I take that back, you know? He has just, like, been with everybody on Love & Hip Hop. Let's see. He's been with um, Mariah Lynn. Y'all remember her? The white girl who was ratchet as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Now that I'm thinking about it, too... Cisco was in a relationship with her, was trying to be in a relationship with her. And next thing you know, um, she went to Rich and fucked him. You know what I'm saying? They got into it, the two men, Cisco and Rich, and of this creeps. Well, yeah, y'all creeps, but, you know, you can get crept on too, girl, okay? 
So yeah, that happened. You know, they got over that. Erica Mena, who's on here, okay? Curious to see that. Y'all, they did a lot, okay? And Safari's so on his way. Anyway, yeah, he fucked with Erica Mena. That's his love, you know, that he claims. But Johnny Blaze, y'all remember Johnny Blaze? She was on um, Growing Up With Love and Hip Hop too. She looks really good. Trying to get her life together and um, tired of um, going down the same road with fighting and all this stuff. And, you know, just wanting to get her career together. I saw her. I was son of her. I fuck with Johnny Blaze. Um, who else? Moniece, okay? Moniece. Uh, Moniece, ugh. I mean, I liked her, but then again, I didn't. Like, sometimes, like, y'all know that type of person. Y'all like them sometimes on the show, then sometimes y'all don't. Because she be doing petty ass shit, and she really should have let her baby father go, but she was doing too much. Like, that's why sometimes I don't like Moniece. And then she had, like, this slick ass mouth. You wrong. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't fuck with Moniece sometimes, but anyway, y'all. Um, who else? Anais, Anais, whatever her name is, okay, honey. Jonathan's girl, okay. Um, yeah, he fuck with her too. Y'all remember? I don't know if y'all remember the last love and hip hop, and not the last one, but a love and hip hop. And she and I be watching all this stuff. Oh my god. So um, yeah, Anais, he was fucking with her, and she was actually cheating on her husband with him. Okay, so yeah, her husband walked up on the scene. Yeah, he was talking with Anna Ace. That's her name. I think that's her name. Jonathan's girl. And um, yeah, he's about to get his motherfucking wig snatched, Rich Woods. Yeah, girl. So he was talking with her and they was at some type of like, um, was it an art show? Some type of show. I don't think it was art. It was some type of show of hers. And Rich was there, you know, for support. But they fucking, you know what I'm saying? And the husband walked in okay and he was asking all type of questions rich looked scared you know what i'm saying he was trying to hold his own but he looked scared and then um and i basically she admitted that yes she was messing with him and the whole time y'all john i know because john is gonna be so messy on this show y'all you know and he was the whole time i was watching because i saw it yesterday i pulled up i was like didn't she fuck with him john was in the back doing it the whole time y'all giving up shows, I said, I know that's right, but it was scary because somebody, husband, walked up in there and you was up there fucking their wife. Ooh, that is scary, girl. Like, that is scary. So anyway, yeah, y'all, he is, you know, of the Creed Squad, dog number two. You know, he is dog number two. So yeah. So they introduced Sin, okay? And Sin, let's just do a little bit of her history too, real quick, okay? And that's why I'm, I'm doing this history so y'all can know when the shit hits the fan, you can know, oh yeah, that happened. Oh, that's why they mad. Because all of this stuff is going to come back up. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm telling y'all this. So um, y'all know Sin used to be in a um, relationship with Erica. You know, they were lovers and Sin was really in love with Erica. You know, and Erica, it just felt like she was playing her. Um, she kept saying, Sin kept saying, you know what, don't hurt me. I can't be hurt again. Erica was like, no, I got you. It's okay. I love you. You know, and it was just a serious um, relationship for Sin. And I think Erica was playing, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, I think, yeah, they ended up breaking up. You know, obviously they ended up breaking up, but it was one epic part, okay? The reason why maybe Sin don't really fuck with Rich is what y'all might see later on. This is why I'm telling y'all this. Rich told her, you know, yeah, me and Erica, because they were still going together. You know what I'm saying? They were still, her, her and Erica were still seeing each other and going together like they were fighting. And Erica was telling lines to her, like I said. And Rich was like, yeah, basically telling her, yeah, we still fucking. That's what he told her. First, he was like, yeah, we kissed. She was like, no, what you mean? Y'all kissed. She was like, okay, but you said fucking y'all fucking. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yeah, we fucking. She went to her and told Erica, look, you are wrong. If this was going on, tell me the truth. Are you fucking him? You know, because that's what I've gathered, like, for real, y'all. When these females have girlfriend females, they don't like when they fucking no dude. Like, I be saying this shit, and they will get really, really, really upset. And that's what Sam was doing. She was getting mad. You know what I'm saying? So she was getting mad, and I couldn't even blame her because her heart was in it. You know what I'm saying? So how dare you be fucking this man on top of that? You trying to say you gay, and you're not because you're still fucking him. And you trying to act like you, you, you love me, and you don't. You want both. So um, she was like, what? Eric was like, what? Um, no, let me go talk to Rick. Let me go talk to Rick. And um, she was like, no, answer the question. Did you, would you fuck him? And she was like, no, no, I don't even know what happened. You know, I just got off my show and now I'm coming into this. You know, all the excuses that people make 
when they fucked up. Like they don't want to answer questions. They don't want to um communicate because they can't. They don't have nothing to say that could back up what the fuck they did. The fuck the shit they did. So she was studying. No, no. Um, um, I don't feel like going through this right now. I don't have to go through this right now. Everything. And she was like, I'm gonna expose your shit. Um, tell me, tell her she gonna expose your shit. All this shit. So from there. Sin does not like rich, probably. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I know she still got a beef with Erica, so we're going to see how this goes on Love and Hip Hop reunion. So they introduced Shakana. You know, y'all know she's tiny best friend. You know, T.I.'s wife, best friend. She does hair, all this stuff with the stars, all that stuff. So she was like, basically, you know, Zell can be a bitch sometimes because he loves and adores himself, you know, and he does. And that's probably what I like about him. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so that's it for Shakana. They didn't say a lot, you know, in her confession. Yo, 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 okay? A rapper from the 90s, okay? You can't play with my yo-yo. <laughs> Not a ho -ho. <laughs> So, yeah, yo-yo is there, and I was glad to see somebody, you know what I'm saying, like back in the day, a rapper girl. So, yeah, she's there, and I'm excited. So, Bobby Lights, okay? He's there, and he's basically trying to show somebody how to cook, or he's trying to show somebody how to crush a garlic girl by... Show me something that we don't know. Okay, girl. So, but we just glad that you there, Bobby girl. So, Cisco, okay, y'all? Creep number three. Dog number three from the Creep Squad, okay? So, he with Rich and Peter. So, him and Peter has some beef because back then, Rich, him, and Peter were together. And Rich was like, yeah, tell him. And basically, Cisco slept with Amina, um, Peter's baby mom. The ones that he got these two bitches fighting. Yeah, she fucked around and slept with your man. Damn. Whoo, honey. They got too much going on for me. Anyway, they ended up getting into a um, fight right then and there on camera. And decided to have a like a professional fight last year that I did not know nothing about. And I didn't even see. Like, that just went right on my head. Yeah, they had a celebrity boxing match in 2021, girl. Pay-per-view. Like, this shit was big. Anyway, um, Cisco ended up beating his ass. Like, I don't know if he beat his ass, but, you know, Cisco ended up winning. And, yeah, Peter was kind of salty about it because they kept arguing about it, you know, on the beach when they came. Cisco walks up on the beach, and he looks sad, you know. And I was just like, dang, what's going on? And Rich and Peter over there, Rich told him, yeah, oh, he by himself. He by himself. Like, what, what's supposed to go on? Like, you know, because they didn't mention that he, like, um, had a wife and divorced him or anything like that. But what it was was that they're, like, keep him out of stuff. Cisco was like, you know, they basically be keeping me out of stuff and they really haven't been fucking with him like that, you know? So he seems hurt and, you know, bother and like he just keeps himself away from them, you know? But when I saw the last part of the episode, they were saying that he is the one who's like, being withdrawn from them so you know i don't i don't know what it is but we're gonna get into it because they're gonna reveal you know what's really going on so the guys are over there and peter's like yeah they gave you the belt and they like and, um jonathan's like what's going on and uh cisco's like yeah he just mad because i whooped his ass and all this stuff you know peter is really the one who's getting riled up because bitch you mad because you got your ass beat you know what i'm saying so Cisco is just like giving him the blues about it. And everybody's standing around laughing, Kiki. And you know it was on pay-per-view, y'all. So Jonathan's like, yeah, not on the pay-per-view. I'm like, you know what? That's what I'm saying. He be sighted like shit, y'all. I just busted out laughing. I was like, damn, you got your ass beat. And somebody said he's talking about how you got to be. And then somebody's going to say, not on the pay-per-view. <laughs> okay, girl. So Kimbella and Joel Santana. So he basically saying how he's been locked up for 17, 19 months. And on house arrest for seven. And, you know, he just ain't trying to be all up in the shindigs with the bullshit if they got it going on there. You know, he trying to keep, you know, uh, clear of all the bullshit because he ain't trying to go back to jail. And which he called it circus activity. And I don't blame you because it is some clown ass shit. If y'all think y'all going to be doing a lot on this bitch and I just got out of jail, okay, honey. We're going to see what's really going on because I know if it was me and I'm on papers and all this shit, I would just, like, remove myself quick if I saw a bitch even raise their voice. You hear me? So, yeah, y'all, that's smart of him, and I was glad. Kimbella is saying how she's, like, really missed her husband while he was gone. She, they're really close. It was close before. You could see that. We saw that on um, New York, Hollywood. They was really close then. They're really close now in tight. So, yeah, that's how they are. She's just glad he's dead and has the kids, you know, to love on, and she's loving that he's home, you know? Tyra and Amina hug on the beach. I caught that. You know what I'm saying? And I was glad, y'all. Let's be grown women right now because, yeah, 
And like she said, like, they come a long way, you know? Tyra said, like I said in the beginning, she wanted to basically choke the bitch every time she said, but we had a new day and time, and yeah, this is what it is, and hopefully they can get along. So Amina, y'all, okay? Amina's in her confession, and she's basically saying, you know, everybody's getting along now. She's even surprised herself, you know? And yeah, she they got pictures of the kids up. She said her and Amina kids, her and Tyra kids get along very well. And yeah, the, everybody's just getting along fine. Erica Mina, okay? Erica is there and she basically saying how, you know, um, Amina was in her and Safari's wedding. So her and Amina are close and she's glad that, you know, she has Amina there with her, you know? And I was just like, dang, you know, I can understand that because, yeah, bitch, you got a lot going on here. Like, you have a fucking lot going on here. From in the front of you, the side and back at all times. Like, she said, I'm trying to come on this trip and relax, but you're about, not about to get no relaxation because everybody is cutting their eyes at you, bitch, every chance they get. If Safari's not dead, then it's going to be Earth, um, uh, Sin there. If Sin is not dead, it's going to be Rich and Safari there. Like, it's always going to be something there with you, girl. If you ain't never going to get away from it. So uh, Erica has two kids, you know, by Safari. And, you know, she said she filed for divorce after two years. You know, she just couldn't take it. He wasn't treating her right um, like he used to. And, you know, she just couldn't do it no more. So that's what she was saying in her confessional. And so Brooke walks over to her and asks her, girl, you know, how you still look like that after, you know, them babies and everything? You know, what is it? She was about to say, what is it, hereditary? She was like, no, maybe it's because I'm depressed, you know, or maybe postpartum depression, blaming it on, you know, hormonal stuff, okay? And yeah, no, it's the fact that you nervous and you don't know who going to come at you in which way. That's what it is, you know, but it could be too, you know, and I'm playing with that. It could be too that, you know, Brooke told her, I invited Safari, you know what I'm saying? And her whole face dropped. She's really heard about this situation. You know, um, I want to feel for Erica with this, but you've been so messy for so many years. It's hard to feel for somebody until you really hear this story, you know, until we really get into what she went through with Safari. Because I haven't watched all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? I just hear stuff on social media and see stuff every now and then, but... And maybe I just don't feel sorry for her because she always creating shit. And look how you hurt sin so bad. You said you weren't going to fuck um, Rich and then you turn around and did it anyway. And then like you was up there. Then Rich y'all is over there. He comes over to her. Messy. And everybody like, oh, I don't want nothing to do with that. Because everybody know you don't be hugging up on nobody. Like they are not divorced yet. You know what I'm saying? So what the fuck are you doing? So anyway, um, yeah, she up there over there hugging up on her, you know, talking about, oh, um, I heard my name. I heard my name. And, you know, she all like, oh, I ain't say your name. I ain't say that. And he was like, yeah, um, you still in love with me. She was like, no, you still in love with me. Trying to like, you know, still have something to um, act like she's in control of something and you're not. You sitting there loving the fact that this man is loving up on you and you're doing too much. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, and then Rich is such a creep. Like, he is such a damn whore. So why are you even entertaining this? I would just be so disgusted by Rich, you know? But she's not. Everybody, she's not even saying, you know, reading the room around her that everybody is just disgusted with what he's doing because, bitch, you got him all up on your side and you a married woman and then you about to get a divorce and everything. But not only that, Okay, because Safari did you wrong and fuck that nigga. You know what I'm saying? And fuck the fact that you're not divorced yet. I don't really believe in that all the time. Because if two people not saying I, I, they done gone off and did their own thing and literally sleeping in different places every fucking night, you know what I'm saying? And really getting a divorce, then why can't they date somebody? You know what I'm saying? That's not my argument. You know what I'm saying? My argument is the fact that you know this nigga is a whole damn whore. And you got him, eh, eh, eh. What are you, a needy ass, thirsty ass bitch to need all that? I was just mad when Erica was doing that. But yeah, I think that really, now that I'm talking about it, both of these motherfuckers are creep. Her and um, Rich, and they need to be together. Because Bobby Light said he was, um, you know, hesitant of even saying anything to Erica because he got to be with her too. That's like full motherfuckers. Because he was saying how basically, and he told the story later on, how basically, you know, she um got mad because something about he um invited a friend to a party or something like that. And it was supposed to be maybe somebody Safari fucked or his mentions or something like that. It was on social media. And she was like, you know, told the girl, um, Erica got a plane ticket for this girl, Bobby's friend, to go to where him, her and Bobby was at and fuck her up. 
You know what I'm saying? Right there on site in the middle of the club. So, and then posted something saying later that blood was drawn and um, I observed my motherfucking point. You know, that's what the bitch who um, jumped on the girl said. Erica's girl said. You know, and Erica was like, yeah, under, underneath of that post, Erica was like, yeah, um, where should I send the money? Where should I send the money? Like, doing like snake ass shit, like evil ass shit, like, bitch, you don't even want that type of smoke. I've never even seen her fight. You know what I'm saying? And she be doing all this. So, yeah, Erica is messy and Bobby really don't know where to go with that with her so we gonna see a lot when it comes to erica on this show so shikana is arguing with peter and rich okay because they're over there arguing about you know who won the fight and everything like i said in the beginning who won the fight she's just like look at them over there looking like two old men two dumb motherfuckers who arguing over some dumb shit and so um cisco's like oh is that shikana you know like he a groupie or something is that shikana so he went over he spoke to her you know what i'm saying so she was like, oh yeah, how you doing? She was like, I really don't appreciate y'all over there arguing like that. Y'all supposed to be grown men. That's that's just disrespectful. And he was like, oh, my bad, my, oh, my bad. You know, telling her, you know what, well, well, I'm glad to meet you. You know what I'm saying? And then next thing you know, um, Peter come over there. She was like, and I don't even know you. And then Peter was like, well, I don't know you. She was like, what? Everybody know me. The whole world knows me because I'm Shaquan. I said, I know that's the fuck right. <laughs> She is in T.I. server, girl, so don't talk about how you don't know her because you just say that because she said that to you, girl, okay? Because Peter Guns, your ass is fucking old, okay? From back in 2013 when you was doing all that shit to me and the type of girl, don't let me get started, girl, okay, honey? So anyway, because she know him, even and like he said, yeah, she, she said, yeah, all them baby mothers you got, and he was like, well, yeah, then you know me then, then you know me from that. You know, then she was like, I was just mad when you got both of them pregnant. You know, I was just mad. And he's, he was getting mad himself, you know. And she was just like, I don't care, um, saying in her, you know, towards the camera. She was like, you know what, I don't care. I just don't agree with what he did, you know, to them women. And he shouldn't be doing. And I was just thinking to myself, Shakana, come on now, bitch. Are you really doing all this? like right now because it's not even worth this shit was back in 2013 and are you really trying to drag that storyline out to be this mad you cannot be this mad right now to the point you are um approaching grown men about it you know what i'm saying like i was just like bitch go ahead like you trying to get a storyline she's just always sometimes to me trying to get shit whirled up like, and it's so obvious, you know what I'm saying? And I just don't think she does it really smooth. You know, she just, all it just seems messy. Like Mimi said, like, she's somebody old grandmother at the cookout. And that's exactly what it looked like to me. Booby and Sin, okay? I love, love, love this couple. I want them to be a couple so bad, but let me stop. Because every time I want somebody to be a couple, this shit don't work out. Girl, okay? So I was just thinking like, Dad, they would really be cute, but I don't know, you know? Booby is really digging Sam, and Sam is really digging Booby. She was like, you know what? Why wouldn't I want somebody who handsome looking into my eyes and telling me that they want me? Why wouldn't I want somebody like that? I said, I know that's right, okay? Because Booby is a looker, you know? We all know that, honey. Yes, Booby, you know, he's a looker. And Booby used to play ball, y'all, and he used to be... I don't know if he was in love, but he really, really liked Brooke, but she was in love with Marcus. So, um, Booby was kind of like a rebound dude, you know, she kind of like tossed his ass to the side and was like, nah, I'm, I'm gonna choose Marcus. So anyway, um, yeah, so they're riding on the golf course. First they was talking out on the beach, then, you know, they went on a golf cart and they riding back to the hotel. Booby is in his confessional saying how, you know, he remember her from, you know, some time ago and he remember her, you know, how beautiful she was and, you know, how, you know, it's funny how you meet somebody and can match their energy because and that her energy is even better you know than probably he thought because she he probably thought and that's what people think you know they think because you're pretty that you know you got this stuck up bougie attitude but that's not that's just not the case you know what i'm saying um yeah not everybody is fucked up and stuck up you know most people are but some people they just not and i was just glad that he cleared that up you know it's not always the fact that somebody look good that they're bougie and stuck up because on top of that y'all and i'm just gonna say it I've gotten that, you know, I have met, um, people and they have told my husband, oh yeah, I thought, you know, your wife was stuck up and stuff like that. And when I know her, damn, Donna cool is shit. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm cool as shit. You know what I'm saying? I might look all right, but like my motherfucking personality is on 1000 girl and we didn't have a lot of fun, you know? So just like Booby was saying, you know, her vibe was good and her energy was even better, you know? So kudos to you, okay, for keeping it real. And Sin is 
saying how it's rare that when she meets somebody, you know, she really put her guard down. She says because she always have her guards up with people. But, you know, when it's a, you know, a nice space and it seems comfortable, she'll put herself in that space, you know. And I think that she's really digging booby, you know. So this is a budding love story. Hopefully, y'all, that we got on here instead of all of the fucking fighting. Maybe we can sing a little love story and, and that'll be fun. So Erica is um, sitting around Shekana and Mimi and they like, you know, what happened with Safari? And she's like, look, you know, he used to treat me so good and it was just all about me until like the baby stuff. I'm like, damn, yeah, that's how it is, y'all. That's how it is, okay? It happened to me, girl, okay, girl? And I ain't even being funny like that's what niggas do, y'all. And that's why these bitches who having kids because they trying to keep a man. Don't be doing that shit. Girl, that's the quickest way to lose one. Okay? It's to have one time. That's just it. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Because, yeah, Safari gave her his ass to kiss when she did that. And, and Erica, you know what? You finally met your man because you cannot keep going around hurting every motherfucking body. Okay? Even though Bridge did hurt you, I'm mad because you hurt my girl's hand. You know, that's what I'm really mad at with you but yeah hopefully we'll see you know that maybe you had a heart but you didn't because shakana asked you about that shit about um bobby lights you know that's why i was like this bitch don't give a fuck shakana was like what about that stuff you know online you know what's saying like she was like what 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 you talking about she was like the stuff that online was saying she was like oh girl that was all lies shakana was like oh girl you some shit I said, I know that's right. Like, Shakar, that's one thing she will do is call a motherfucker out. You know, I just think she be jumping too fast sometimes, trying to, like, you know, over-exaggerate stuff too fast. And some stuff don't always need to be blown up here on reality TV. And I just think that, that sometimes she be pressed to do that. You know, and it's a little bit annoying. So, Sin is sitting there with um, Booby, and she's like, yeah, I need a friend. He was like, what, you not about to friend me? I ain't one of them niggas, you know? And so she like, you know what? Go ahead and shoot your shot. He said, you know what? I've been known to make a lot of shots, okay? And I said, I know that's right, Booby. And she was like, well, go ahead and make it then. Like, damn, Booby then, boo. Then they asked Shakana, yeah, girl, what was that about with you and Peter? She was like, yeah, I was just already irritated with him over there, you know, arguing and all this stuff about the, the, um, the fight and everything. And yeah, I know we all family, you know, trying to like, you know, uh, uh, tone it down something. Now you don't want to talk about it because you know you overdid it. So Rich tells Peter that Erica and him, Peter, was a highlight of his night. You know, he felt this type of vibe from her and she wouldn't have even have spoke if he didn't know that that vibe was going on and went over there and spoke to her like okay like we don't care you know and i hope safari stepped in your ass about it because you're doing too much you acting like a goddamn groupie now you know and this is what rich do he sweat bitches and then he drop them off he dump them off like this is what he did rich is also um irritated with the fact that cisco is not with them you know he's irritated because he's like you know we're brothers he's always like acting as if, you know, he doesn't want to be bothered. He's acting, he, he's very close and he doesn't let you in on a lot of stuff. And he's irritated. He just wants, you know, to be back with, you know, the three of them. He wants it to be the three of them. Jonathan and Cisco sits down at this point because Jonathan says, you know, he just doesn't seem like himself, seem like something going on right now. And like he's feeling low. And Cisco reveals the fact that, yeah, he has some um, reservations and, you know, he's basically upset about the fact that with him and Peter, Peter and Rich, but the real reason is that he can't see his kids. He hasn't seen his kids in six months, you know? And Jonathan's like, oh, oh like somebody said somebody died. Like, okay, girl, like he d overdoes it too. And anyway, <coughs> he must have said something that they didn't show that they edited out. Because he was like, I can see that you're, um, you know, irritated by them if they're not taking advantage of seeing their kids. So he feel like they're not even seeing their kids the way they need to. And he can't. But bitch, that's not your business. That's not, I hate when people do that. You know? Damn, I'm choking y'all my signs. <coughs> Don't have a personal issue in your life and then be jealous of what I just talked about that, y'all. In my video, how I said I was hating on beloved, y'all. This bitch got 3 million subscribers and I was mad because, you know, I felt like I could never get on that level, you know, and not that I want to be that high, but I had just started out YouTube, you know, it was, it was taking me some time. It's going really well now, but it was taking me some time and I just didn't want to see the bitch. I ain't like the bitch because I felt like, you know, she made it overnight and yeah, I was irritated. So I did a video on it, y'all. 
So y'all go watch that video. It's the one right before this one. It's my picture and B Love's picture on there. And I'm like looking at B Love like, um, so what? And that's what I say on the thumbnail. So what? So yeah, I overcame my hate and that's what you got to do, you know, because you never know what somebody has to offer you. They can tell you things because that's what she did. She told me how to basically get better on YouTube, you know, and I've been doing it and I've been succeeding. But going back to Cisco, Cisco, like I said, is mad because they have something that he doesn't right now and that's their kids. So he's wanting them to take more advantage of the fact that they got their kids and they don't, but that's not your business. Why? I can't be worried about my business and somebody else's. Don't y'all think that's too much? Like, just for me, I personally, and then me, I'm all into myself, so I really don't be worrying about somebody else, never. Trust me, you know what I'm saying? But I do feel full Cisco with his situation because that's wrong. Why hasn't he seen his kids in six months? Is he dealing with a petty-ass female? Like, what is going on? Did the bitch move to a whole nother state? Like, what is going on? I really want to know, so I think we're going to find out that in the next episode. Okay, y'all, so that is the end of this review. I hope y'all enjoyed it, okay? I will see you ladies and gents next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Like this video, share this video, and make sure y'all subscribe. I can't say it enough, y'all. It costs y'all nothing. Hook your girl up. I've been working hard. Y'all just hook me up, okay? Continue to watch my videos. I appreciate all the love. Love you subscribers. Shout out, okay, on the comments. Do what y'all gotta do. I love y'all so much. I will see you ladies and gents later. Bye.